the immediate past chairman of the National Youth Council of Nigeria Crossover State Chapter, Daniel Obo has said he is proud of the legacy his administration has left behind. Yes, you know, when we talk about being proud of living office of youth council chairman, first is that uh, living office of youth council chairman of local government, I feel very proud because virtually the initiatives and idea and the youth consciousness we brought to our local government, as I speak with you uh, till today, uh, it's, it's remarkable. And then if you come to the state, right, uh, what are we proud of? We are proud of the fact that we made the council suspension for five years and we are leaving it for 10 minutes. And in this terminal, we, did, we were not selfish to say we must be the first to receive it. We are proud that we made the youth council without an office space, we have an office space. We are proud that we made the youth council without the state youth parliament. Like, I, like, I like to say this, right? In the entire country, in the entire country, it was only cross over state who did not have state youth parliament. And so we would ask why. It was clear that there was going to be power tussle between the state chairman and the speaker of the crossover state youth parliament. And so my predecessors never wanted that discussion. But when I came on board, I said, you know, because there are, there are about 37 speakers of youth parliament across the country. So in two engagements in Abuja, I noticed that people were being introduced as speakers of various state youth parliament. And I, I, I wonder, so I came back and brought in the first crossover state youth parliament, which was headed by Gideon Mumba, and while the second assembly as I leave. Right, so we are proud of that. We're also proud of the fact that we have um, the youth council structure across 196 council levels. That's our initiative. We're also proud, right, that we have been able to key in the council into government programs and projects. Now, let me shock you. I discovered that in the course of governance, when you get to Abuja, when you leave a state youth council chairman, we discovered that a few people migrate from there to national leadership. And that has never been our pattern. In Cross the State, as we finish our new council chairman, that's the end of it. So we decided to take Cross River State to the center stage. And so in doing so, we end up emerging the best chairman in the country. So as I speak with you, I'm taking the bar, right, as the best chairman in the country. And so this I, the office I'm going to hold till December. That is when the next person will emerge among the chairman. So, Whoever takes over from me has also the body, right, of sustaining the best chairman, whether at the zone or at the national level. We were able to create what we call the Women Commission also. And you know, this Women Commission gave our sisters opportunity to be part of, um, you know, part of the council. Now, the final thing we did was that, in the course of governance, you will discover that when you're a youth council chairman, when you hold any office in youth council, it is believed that you're not supposed to run any elections. It is only applicable to crossover. And so I go out and I see my colleagues who are colleagues of mine wanting to serve their people at different levels. So when you come here and want to do that, they will ask you to resign. Now the big question is that if as a youth leader, you cannot seek for effective representation for your people, when then should you? Is it when you're done serving as youth leader? So I took the bull by the horn and I became a candidate of the party and I resisted the mover. So the meaning is that anybody who comes into office to serve your council at any level, you can sit there and ask for elections and go and serve your people. Two, the youth council has no salary. It has no salary. There's no pay. I don't have any pay for four years. For four years, I've no way I went to, to sign salary as a youth council chairman. And so it doesn't mean that you can't be a youth council officer and then you're still found fit to serve at different capacity. Of course, we have lecturers who want to be part of youth council desktop. What people serving at different levels. So there's nothing wrong in holding an appointed office. There's nothing wrong in holding an elective office. And you're still serving your generation. While I was in office, if there's anything um, I would say I'm not proud of, is the total disregard for the generation. Yes, I can say so. And um, you know, the inability for leaders to mentor the next generation. Right? In developed countries, leaders are mentors. You don't just look up. So here you, you hardly find leaders who will deliberate in mentoring also. And but I believe that the reason why it is like that is because we have also not been deliberate in electing leaders that will mentor us. Yeah, because first is that you, you must also be willing as a young man to be mentored. So that was what gave birth to this our leadership deliberate attempt to be sure that we took part on who becomes our governor. And the reasons why we were very conspicuous 
as an institution, as a leadership in the emergence of the People's First Mandate. Obo now the special advisor to Governor Bansi Adeto II of Cross River State on youth mobilization. In an interview with journalists, cleared the air about issues of age and membership of the council. Yes, yeah, you know, the, the, the membership of youth council right, is very broad. First is that you cannot be a member of youth council. We are not, we, we are not a member of the member organization. You first be, there's nothing like I am a member of youth council. Right? As I sit here now, I am not. I am a member of the council by an organization, right? So I can be VY, I can be Manowa, I can be Voice Brigade, I can be Zion, anything, right? <clears throat> now, even if you register that organization and affiliate to the youth council, right? That is what makes you a youth council. So as an individual, you can't even go to court. Now, the age bracket for, it is a com it's common sense ticket that is 35. Yeah, for you to govern the council is 35. Right, so an issue has to do with age. It's a but in cross river state, I don't think we have issues with that. I, I say so because uh, I, I don't think that anybody has basically challenged anybody with that. He denied allegations that his administration was an appendage of government. That's a, that's, that's a height of insult to think that I am a government appendage. It's a height of insult. You know, I governed the, anybody who has anything to say, they have what to say after three years and 10 months. So the remaining two months that led to transition is when they have all of this to say. But I need us to know some few things. You know, a lot of things have gone wrong. A lot of information have gone wrong. A lot of people have said a lot of things. So it has become very important to clear the air and also, uh, you know, put society straight. But before I say that, let me give you an example. You know, there's a writer that says I want to hand over to a cultist, to a government. There's another writer that spoke about uh, extortion, and I think that that writer is not correct. Now, when people write things about people, they sit there and say it's correct. But when they write about them, they say it's not correct. So are you saying that the same person is writing one correct thing and one that is not correct? Let's keep that as Whether you like it or not, everything we did in Youth Council, we followed suit. I could say elections. I mean, for example, I, I gave good, right? I gave money, I gave cartons of drinks across the three senatorial district, right? Even though we supported others who contested with me, which one, which one gave a good, give them did say, Atom McCoy did say. So the issue of giving good is that did not start from me. He did not. That is one. Two, I like and party. I like form is free. But the party, yeah, is the party form free? even for women. So if you go to the council, all of these things, so you really need to understand the way the council runs. Whatever has happened with the cause of transition happened as a result of our resistance not to do the wrong thing. And anything short of that is your business. Whatever is as resistance not to do the wrong thing. And there is nobody who can look up and say, look, chairman, we gave you this financial energy for you to do this for us, and you never did it. Government appended at an insult. First is that I did not go, I did not defect with the youth council when anybody was defected. That's one. Two, when I did PDP, Labour Party, APC, they came to the office to ask for support. It, I, it wasn't only one party that came. It wasn't, been my, it wasn't only my party at the time that came. Everybody came to the youth house who was running the elections as government. Now, I continue to say it. If we can't get a young person to be governor, we need a young person to be deputy. And between you and I, APC gave us a young person as deputy and gave us a young man as being that we admire. And so it is only but normal because it's an election for us to mobilize young people to do that direction so we can get mentorship. And so that doesn't make me an appendage of government. On the crisis about his success on fighting a government candidate, he said his crime is refusing to do the wrong thing. Now, there is so much desperation to succeed in it. So much desperation. Desperation from the leaders, desperation from political office holders, sponsoring candidates, desperation from people who tell you they are very close to the governor, they are interested in the governor. Some are even more interested in the governor and the governor himself. So there was nobody. Naturally, our forms are free. So if, for whatever reason, the CPC put up the price tag, there was nobody that was deprived of. Now, 
Anybody that you were told that was deprived from, most likely it has to be with the guidelines. Yes, you know, that's, uh, that's the most exciting part. You know, eventually my friend is the commissioner for you, and I'm special advisor, right? I told you, government should have a candidate. I think that I should also know. Of course, you have said here, they say I have an appendix of government. How come somebody is an appendix of government, and then government has a candidate inside it? You see the contradiction. The government, if government should have a candidate, I should be the second person to know. I am not the first. My government has never told me that they have a candidate. Like I told you, there are people, I said there is one chief who is going about, very high chief, who is going about telling lies with my name because of one candidate he has. There is another person who has even threatened the youth budget in House of Assembly because of a candidate he has. Now, elections timetable have been shortlisted. Now, the process is ongoing with me as a transition chairman. And then the procedures are not followed. And you say we should cut the law. We should do things that naturally will discredit the process the more. And even offer benefits. And I said, no, I am not responsible for that. And so they attack their candidates, government candidates. Who is government? It's the government. And so the governor does not have a candidate. Every youth in Cross River is the governor's son. Every youth in Cross River is under the government. And so the elections for who become youth council chairman, irrespective of whatever youthful interests we are going to have in terms of which is normal, the reality is that government does not have a candidate. I am not fighting any government candidate. If government should have a candidate as a special advisor, youth mobilization, I should know. And my commissioner should tell me that if they don't want to tell me, I'm sure they should tell the commissioner. Right? So anything government candidate is fallacy, it's a big lie, and we will not yield to that.